Welcome back, everybody, to uh, another unscripted but narrated um, speed art process video. This week I did Ron Weasley from Harry Potter. If you watched my last video where I did Hermione, you'll know that I was going to do Ron first, but couldn't find one that I liked. I finally found or made a design that I liked, um, and this is it. Rowling does a very good job of physically describing her characters. Ron is supposed to be tall and lanky with uh, flaming red hair and his uh, freckles. So his freckles were quite easy, quite, you know, there's not a lot of interpretation when it comes to freckles, but when it comes to the movie's interpretation of his flaming red hair, uh, kind of all over the board. The first three, it's just kind of there because he's kind of a younger kid. Uh, and four... Um, it's kind of like boy bandish, if that makes sense, like the edgy kind of long hair, and then after that I think he cuts it quite short, uh, which is weird to me because I always thought that his look would be very consistent. He doesn't, um, when it says flaming red hair, I didn't just imagine the color of it, but also the movement, if that makes sense, like the shape of it, I always imagined as standing up. Um, he's wearing his... Weasley sweater with the uh, initial on it. Um, I don't really imagine him wearing it all the time, but I, whenever I draw him, I put him in it because it's that's a very recognizable Weasley thing. Each of the Weasleys have their own sweater um, from from Molly Weasley. He also to to show his lankiness with his clothes, since a lot of them are hand me downs except for his sweater. Um, the pants are not, like really super long. The shoes are kind of old and scuffed up. And he has that old hand-me-down wand. Now, now, the Ron in this picture is probably, like, what, 17, I would think he looks like. So he wouldn't have a broken wand at that time. But whenever I think of Ron, I think of that kind of iconic um, part in book two where he tapes up his broken wand, and he has that for the rest of the year. Um, and that was the only wand that had a really good descriptor of his physical shape. Like all the other wands give like the dimensions and what it's made out of, but Ron's wand was supposed to be um, chipped as if it was really old. Also had the unicorn hair sticking out of the end, and that's a relatively small detail in this image, but it's like the only wand we get a good physical description of, so that's another reason why I put it in there. Even though it doesn't technically make sense through the timeline of the story, I just thought that I would include it because, eh, it's concept art. It doesn't have to be super uh, coherent, I guess. <laughs> so, uh, thanks for bearing with me with my kind of rambly speech. Again, it wasn't, uh, I didn't have a script for this narration, so I kind of went all over the place. But that's kind of my thought process when it comes to, to this. Now, um, the next video is going to be the start of October. I'm going to start, I'm going to do some spooky stuff for Halloween. Um, so, look forward to that. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it for the narration. Uh, enjoy the rest of the speed art, and uh, I will see you guys next week for October. Bye-bye.